Police Dispersed Citizens Coalition for Change CCC supporters yesterday at Nelson Chamisa Star Rally at Mamats Field in Masvingo by firing tear gas into people's homes at random. High-ranking police officials attempted to prevent Chamisa from speaking at the gathering at first, but were thwarted by his security team and supporters who prevented the five officers from getting to the podium as the opposition leader addressed the crowd. After being blocked, the police withdrew only to return equipped with tear gas, smoke bombs, truncheons, and vicious dogs. But, they were met with an unyielding resistance from the CCC supporters who held their ground to allow Chamisa to continue his speech. It was said that although Chamisa's event was intended to stop at 4 o'clock, it continued an additional hour since the CCC leader arrived from a different demonstration in Keretzi Lake. In his speech, Chamisa urged the police to display restraint, refrain from getting involved in partisan politics, and refrain from meddling in the nation's election procedures. He continued, I hear that the cops are attempting to prevent the continuation of this gathering due to time. I am aware that it is not your fault. You are being given orders. But let me just emphasize that the departing government shouldn't have greater authority than an incoming one. As such, police should act professionally and avoid becoming involved in politics. Once elected, Chumisa pledged that his administration will put a stop to the police's suffering at the hands of ZANU-PF by promoting professional conduct among officers and paying their salaries in US dollars. The first thing we're going to do when we take over is pay everyone, even the cops, with American dollars. We're going to set up a professional police force and we'll leave you alone to perform your job. This administration will put an end to your suffering, he declared. The police chiefs were not calmed by Chamisa's statements because they felt humiliated because they were prevented from entering the stage to stop the rally. They moved forward while the juniors were in front, threatening the journalists who were filming them with arrest and harm. The police fired tear gas into the throng in neighboring homes. But the CCC followers did not move until their leader fled. Following the standoff, during which supporters threw missiles at the police in retaliation, it was unclear whether the police had made any arrests. After arriving at the location at 9 a.m., fans waited nine hours for Chamisa, only to hear him speak for 30 minutes after 5 p.m. Normally, Chamisa's speeches are almost an hour long and conclude with prayers and the introduction of the candidates. But as the police moved in, he was forced to omit these niceties.